Hello, today I will be sharing a demonstration on the difference between um, global fonts, global colors, as well as the theme style in Elementor Editor. So before we go ahead, let us uh, do a little bit of setting. Let us go to Elementor settings. We need to make sure that you have uh, disabled these two, okay? So disable default colors, tick it, disable default forms and tick do a check on it, these two, okay? So if these two are checked, you are good to go, okay? Or else, whatever you do under site settings will not really work. So after you are done, okay, I'm just going to um, add a new page for our demonstration. Okay, edit with Elementor. Okay, let's now go to our site settings. Uh, move to this hamburger icon over here and go to site settings. You'll see the global colors, global fonts over here, and then you see a theme style over here. So these are some of the ways that uh, we can dictate our website style, uh, colors, the exact, um, uh, the exact color that you want, okay, and then the exact font that you want, you may set them all here. Now, what is the difference then between this theme style and the design system, global system, global settings? I'm going to just show you in a while. We'll just uh, set some theme style first. Um, we'll go to this uh, typography. Okay, typography. I, I've done some setting already for body as well as for H1 from uh, this demonstration. So for body, um, I have created a very obvious color, which is red. Okay, it's red. Um, and then the typography is a very obvious uh, archival black and then a, a size 19. And it's italic, it's italic, okay? So you see uh, some of the body text here are already um, in italics, okay? They're already italics. Uh, if you notice that, uh, why is it that this typography um, will influence the text here is because they are all um, body paragraph paragraph fonts, okay? But why is it that the color change doesn't affect them? It's because I have set a color for them under the element style setting. So the element settings for style will override whatever that you set in your site settings, okay? So um, now for your H1, um, I have uh, selected a, a blue, and then for typography, it's Times New Roman. Again, another very obvious uh, font. Uh, weight size 42 and weight 900, very fat, okay? So let's update this thing. Let's check out our global colors. I've created some global colors as well. Um, important notes, uh, name it important notes. You can name it whatever you want, okay? You can just rename them. And you, of course, you can just keep on adding your own colors whichever colors that you want to say if uh, under your global fonts, the uh, global colors. So the goodness of global colors is that you really can save as many colors as you want. Um, and that goes for global fonts as well. You may save and you may name them wherever you want. Okay, you can add style as many as you want. All right, and save them. So, but for typography, you can't really, uh, you, well, you can, you, you actually have a H1 to H6 where you can save different types. And remember, um, but you may not remember exactly like what do you say for history unless you try it, you test it, and then you, oh, okay, this is what I say for history. But for global, it's very obvious, okay? The colors are there and uh, the forms are there to show you, okay? I'll show you in a while. So I have set some global colors, global forms. I've set some typography under theme style, okay? Let's see how they are going to work at the elements and uh, so first, I'm going to draw in a header. Ah, so this header is, for it follows your H2 style. I'm going to change it to H1. Ah, so this is my time new Roman italics uh, and this blue. I set this under typography. Okay, so the default um, that comes in when I go to H1 is the one that I set under theme style. Let's draw in a text editor below. And this is um the the color and font i've set under theme style as well for body okay for paragraph if i change this paragraph to heading one it'll change to this but for as well as long as it's for paragraph it will it will appear in this but if i want to style it this portion i want to style it um under the 
theme style under the text editor um, element style. Okay. Um, I don't want to take on the default um, typography in theme style. I can change it here. And here you see the global settings. If you see this globe, uh, that's the global setting. So color, the text color that I have uh, saved uh, as global at the at the global for at the global colors, they are they appear here. So I can just choose maybe this green. Okay, I'll choose this green. And then um, say for typography, okay, I also have saved something. Like for example, this important notes. I'll just use this. And you'll just change accordingly. Now let me add in another one so that it's easier to compare later. Yeah. Okay, so this is the this is the default uh, font and color that I've set in theme style. And up the above is the, I've changed it according to my global settings. Now let's go back to our set settings, okay? Okay, I'm gonna change now my typography, all right? Uh, body, okay, I change the color now. Okay, I decided to change the color. Okay, as you can see, I can even use global for here as well, yeah? But let's just assume I don't want to use that. I'll just change to gray. Okay, I'll change to gray. Okay, so the below one that has adopted the theme style settings will change accordingly. But the above one that I have um, uh, customized uh, using my own element style, it will not change. It will not change. Okay, so um, if you have customized your own element style, whatever that you change under your set setting theme style, will not change. You have to remember that, okay? Uh, so I'll just try to change my typography to maybe this, bangers. Ah, so it's changed here as well, okay? So, um, well, you can also do that for global. So um, thankfully, this, this style will start using global colors and global fonts. So if I want to change this, it can be changed very easily. I'll just go to global style. I'll change, um, I'll change this green that I use here to a brighter green, and then there it goes. It follows. Okay. Uh, I will change the font. Okay, I'll change the font for. I use important notes for this. Uh, so I'll change this font. The size. I'll change it down, and it'll change accordingly. Okay. So what? Uh, is there anything, any styling that will not be affected by your global settings as well as typography? Yes. Okay, sorry. Uh, save it first. That is... Okay, that is if you actually use... Okay, so you have this original one. You style it. And you do not use global. You do not use global. So maybe you use a uh, color that you change on your own. Okay, that is not saved under global. So if you want to change this... Um, color, you have to come back into here to change it on your own. Okay, so this color then will not be affected when you change your global and when you change your uh, theme style. Okay, so I hope uh, the differences are clear. Um, you can really uh, uh, use whichever that you, you think helps, but um, uh, global, just know that global will appear here. The global settings will always appear in this group saved here for you to select and if uh, the whatever you set in your theme style is the default the moment you drag it in it will appear as it is yeah so use the theme style if you want this font or color to be a very generic color on your website very generic fonts and save the rest into global so that you may change them accordingly so that will uh, be something i encourage you to do Okay, so that is all for today. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.